Howdy. Uh, I'm Eric. Most of you know that already, but we're just going to throw that in there. So we're going to go over the new fish that we did get in today. Um, maybe highlight some fish that I moved because I got in a lot of fish. So we'll do all of that. First off, something we haven't had in a while. Um, just usually they don't come in the best, but these guys actually came in phenomenal. So if you want to take a look here, we did get in some clown loaches. Oh. It looks like we have, oh, I think we got seven of them in. So those guys are great for eating snails, um, which a lot of people use them for. So they do like to school, so definitely get you know three or more with them. They do get rather large. Um, people don't realize they get up to almost a foot. So um, you definitely want to know that you have a big enough tank for them. Next, I did get in a new half moon koi which is not one that's readily available to us often, but you can see he's hanging out down there. Got some nice blue sparkle on him. Yeah. So over here, I did also get in another beta in here, which it's a rose tail. Um, don't know where, oh, it's up here, and it's really cool because it's got like some nice clear fins on it. Along with the rose tail in this tank, we did get these guys in um, some oh. vampire shrimp. Kind of hard to come by on those most of the year, but luckily these guys just popped up on our list, so I was able to get those in. Yeah, yeah. How many of those you get? Uh, six. Awesome. Down here with the glowfish, I did, oh, you can actually see them there nice out. Um, some bigger yo-yo loaches. These guys came in really nice size. I did get a nice school of green neons in. They're a little bit smaller. Um, those guys, um, when I get them in, I try to get as many as I can um, because they are very sought after, but they're they're not very available to me, unfortunately. Here's one of the things that we got in that I had to move fish for, for us. But for you, I was able to get some for us to sell. Not something that comes along. I would say maybe about once every two years I'm able to get a hold of these, and I did get them in. I'm gonna take off my watch just in case I don't want to shock it and fry it. So. Down in here, we got, uh, where'd they go? So these are electric catfish. I got two of them in for sale. We've had these before in the past and we kind of keep them as store pets as well. They're interesting looking catfish. They do pack a little bit of a punch. At this size, it's more like a nine volt battery, kind of shocking, tingling. But when they mature, they, they definitely mess with you, so. But they are fun, interesting. I don't recommend putting them with any other fish. Because they will. They will shock you. Or the other fish. <laughs> so next to them there, we do have some rope fish. Um, this which, one's being really cute. Yeah, which since COVID have been a little bit harder because not a lot of stuff's coming in from Africa. Might even get another koi bait in since we're right here. It's a nice long, thin koi. Got a white butterfly. A new mustard gas. Really nice traditional mustard gas too. So down here, um, we got some purple parrots in. Birds? No, not birds, Heather. <laughs> um, the purple parrot cichlids. Generally, I don't mess around with parrots a whole lot, um, but we've recently had a lot of interest in them. So I did get the purple parrots. Now they look a lot like your standard um, blood parrots, but as they mature, they get more of a reddish magenta kind of color instead of that bright orange. And then since he is out right now, this is the biggest Gareth Labatra we've ever gotten in. So I want to point that out, but he is hanging out right there. Oh yeah, I see. And then down here, I did get some standard blood parrots, um, a little bit bigger in size. And those guys have a nice orange color already to them, so you can see the difference kind of between those and the purple parrots, um, but they're definitely really cool. And while I'm thinking about it, we did also get in some more male rosy barbs. So we got in a nice batch of males. Usually we kind of get a mix, but we've been really heavy on females lately. So I was able to get a hold of some males. Um, the males have that nice red with the kind of the green top. The females are just get this kind of grayish color, grayish green, um, not as, flamboyant but they're definitely uh, they look good together so 
so that is it for our fish today guys so come in check them out and uh hopefully we got something you're looking for our first new animal is our indonesian tree boas we've got this really cool guy and we've got a cooler striped guy back there oh he's checking us out <laughs> He is on the move. Oh my gosh. He's on the move. There's that striped Head back there, that way. Oh my goodness. You're really beautiful at least. <laughs> Deserving never, of that spunky attitude. I've never seen an Indo go that fast. My gosh. Look at this dude. He looks more tree-like than ever before. Look. So our next animal is our tiger leg tree frogs. They are really pretty, but they are really good at hiding. See his little striped foot there. Up next, we've got our marbled geckos. These two in particular are darker than we normally see. Really pretty. And you've got more of that gray instead of the yellow going on over there. Up next, we have a new male Jackson chameleon. Male Jackson's chameleon. He's hanging out. Hi, bud. Got some big horns there. Oh yeah, beautiful. Have a great day.